I am so excited to be here at Cornerstone Christian Academy. It's been such a wonderful transition um, into this amazing Christian school. God has such an amazing vision for this place and we are so blessed to have these families and the kids that are here and that trust their kids to us every day. Um, God's vision for this school is so great um, and this system has focused um, so much in the move in the last few years. Um, as you know, we were housed at uh, Crossroad Church for 35 years and this is our second year uh, here in this location. Um, and just like, just like a church, the church is not its brick and mortar, um, I am just so humble by the amazing work that is done by the people at Cornerstone Christian Academy. There is so much heart and so much love for the Lord and, and there is a lot of hard work that goes behind every single day to make the life of our kids here at Cornerstone um, a blessed one. I, um, I, I, I walk into the schools and I just see uh, the values that, uh, that, are, that surround what good education is about. Uh, we have a rigorous education that is relevant to kids. Uh, built on the trust of relationships uh, that we have with our students and our families. Um, and, and there's a lot of reflection uh, that goes into achieving the results that Cornerstone achieves for the from the education of, of our students. The mission of Cornerstone Christian Academy for Learning and Leadership is to transform our community and world through educational excellence and innovation serving as ambassadors for Jesus Christ, reconciling all to God. And that is exactly what I see every day when we walk into the classrooms and we see the integration of biblical principles as well as our history uh, and a different, and a Christian worldview into what we're teaching our students. And, um, and that is a, an absolute cornerstone of who we are. And you know, I've been in education for 25 years, but we've also had the opportunity to have some uh, wonderful visitors here into our school and they agreed um, and, and potentially there could be some partnership of how we can uh, we can take what we do here uh, for the education of students and and take that to other schools as well so we're very um, we're very humbled by what God has done here uh, and it is through prayer and his um, you know and his and our belief in in his power that we are where we are uh, today here at Cornerstone for our students. I know that there's been a lot of conversation over the last few years about facilities and location. So I'd love to, to share with you kind of where we are right now. So at the short term, uh, we are here um, uh, with the county's blessing to be able to have our school here. Uh, we are in the process of working mainly on two projects. One is the light. Uh, there's a traffic light that we've been working on to for the future of the school um, and then also the covered play area uh, so we could have recess as well as some of our PE classrooms uh, under cover for our students um, and those two projects are underway it's always really difficult to set up an exact time um, what I can tell you is that the steel has been ordered for the cover play area and it would be our, our greatest hope to do it um, you know before the, the heavy winter came but but we will have to see kind of how timelines for all of that works um, we are finalizing our permit with the county for that project and as soon as we are done with that um, we will uh, we will try to do as much as we can to try to avoid the tough winter months that are coming ahead. Um, however, the timeline is in God's hands and we trust that His time is perfect. Um, and then when we look at facilities for the future, we are in the middle of our capital campaign, as you know, uh, building uh, a structure of what we have been thinking about is a paramount um, capital campaign and it is, um, it is a very difficult, um, time consuming, maybe not difficult, but time consuming. And we are in the process um, of that. Um, so there's a lot of conversation about when could we bring and start our high school. And just know that, um, that I've been in some communication with some parents, but certainly uh, under a lot of prayer, 
<clears throat> to know exactly when is the right time. Um, I want to make sure that if we start the, the high school that we have a plan that is fair and appropriate for the kids that, that we keep in this process. Since we know we won't have a building um, that could house our K to 12 here uh, for a few years. So, um, so we're prayerfully considering that and what is, um, what is the right thing to do for the kids today as well as for the next four years as they will, uh, they will be in, in a high school program. But as Matthew 17, 20 says, faith moves mountains. So if nothing else out of this presentation, I'm gonna ask if you remember one thing, please remember the next and truly pray for us. Pray boldly that God really deliver us. If you have any questions or if you um, wanna let me know anything, please do not hesitate to call the school or to give us a call, to send me an email. Um, I'm really excited to be here in this journey uh, with you and I'm just honored that, uh, and humble that I get to walk this uh, wonderful God's path with you.